A line graph is a bar graph where the tops of the bar is represented by points joined by lines. The rest of the bar is hidden. This figure is a bar chart of the percent change in the consumer price index, also known as the CPI, over time. Each bar represents percent increase for the three months ending at the date indicated. Let's convert this bar graph to a line graph. First, a point is placed in the center of each bar in the bar graph. Next, lines are drawn connecting the points. Finally, the remainder of the bars are erased, completing the transformation to a line graph. Although bar graphs and line graphs are similar, line graphs emphasize the change from period to period more clearly than do bar charts. Line graphs are appropriate only when both the x and y axes display quantitative, rather than qualitative, variables. Although bar graphs can also be used in this situation, line graphs are generally better at comparing changes over time. This graph shows percent increases and decreases in five components of the CPI. The figure makes it easy to see that medical costs steadily increased, while the other costs had more irregular patterns. Although you could create an analogous bar chart, it would not be easy to interpret. Let us stress that it is misleading to use a line graph when the x-axis contains merely qualitative variables. This figure inappropriately shows a line graph of the card game data from Yahoo discussed in the section on qualitative variables. The defect in the figure is that it gives the false impression that the games are naturally ordered. To review, Line graphs are appropriate only when both the x and y axes display quantitative variables. And line graphs are generally better than bar graphs at comparing changes over time.